So in this video, we are going to see how we can very easily download and install the tool. Kit's uh, source code is available on GitHub. Uh, to, to access that, we have to go to github.com and then go to Cognizant open source and then we can directly type Cognizant intelligent test scripter the complete link is there in the description section so you can just directly follow the link to land on this page which will give you the complete source code of the tool. Uh, this is very important for all of us to understand that the source code of the tool is available on public domain for us to download, for us to uh, fork and even make changes necessary for our project. If you want the ready-made tool to be downloaded, we can scroll down and in the download section simply click here for downloading the tool and now here we see that the zipped version of the tool is getting downloaded now i already have the tool installed on my machine so i will directly take you to that location so this is the location where i have already uh, unzipped the the file that got downloaded from github and uh, if you see, the basic installation process is very, very simple. The file that gets downloaded as a zip is simply required to be unzipped to a location. That's it. It is as simple as that. There is no complex uh, installation process. There is no .exe files which you need to click on next, next, next and so on and so forth. It's just Un in unzipping certain files onto your workspace, onto your working location. Now, once this is unzipped, the only thing that you need to keep in mind is that this tool requires Java 11 and above for operation. I'm going to make sure I have Java 11 or above. So I go to command prompt and I'm going to check the version very quickly. Java minus version and it's open JDK 16 uh, you can have uh, any version above 11 that's perfectly okay in order to get started with the tool the only thing you need to do is double click on this file the run.bat file if you are working on Windows and if you're working on a Mac or Ubuntu the run.command file is what you need to double click on. Run.bat file is what I'm going to click now. And in a while we should see the tool coming up. There you go. And the UI of the tool opens up in front of us with the demo project. Uh, which the tool comes packed with and uh, we will go through the details of this demo project we will go through this entire IDE in our next video so in this video what we saw is how to download the tool how to unzip the 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 compact file that comes with it and how to get the tool up and running by clicking on run.pat.